So welcome back guys and thanks for stopping by. Today we're talking about how to fly comfortably in cold weather. So there are a million things that you can do to layer up yourself to be comfortable while flying, but let's face it, you have to have that tactile function in your hands to be able to control the quadcopter well. So let me show you these new photography gloves that work great for photography and they work for drones for the exact same reasons. Coming right up. Okay, so these are the Valere Markov Pro 2 photography gloves and they work awesome for drones because this piece flips down just like that around the finger and then does the same thing around the thumb as well. And what they have is little magnets on the side. So the, the thumb stays down and then the finger stays down as well. And you can do the same, the same for both of these. So this allows you to control your, your gimbal on the bottom of your controller as well as the C1, C2 buttons. You can hit the, the thumb for your, um, you know, your sticks. So you can pull the, pop these open real quickly if you want to change your video settings or your camera settings, change the gimbal or anything like that. You, know, you can leave you know, one hand totally back in the glove as normal and just use the gimbal wheel, for example. That way you only have to sacrifice one finger into the cold at, one, at a time. Other good thing about these is they have a nice tactile grip to them. You can probably hear that in the camera. It's kind of a, a sticky, tacky feel to it. So the controller is going to have a nice grip in your hands. And then lastly is you got a little zipper pouch on the back here to hold whatever. You can hold an SD card in there, extra battery for your camera or something like that. Not an extra battery for the drone, but keys or something like that but it's just a small little pocket for if you have something tiny that you want to use great place for a small little tool or something like that so these are really good for you know down to 25 30 degrees Fahrenheit that's currently what I'm at right now I would say you know these have a an extra liner a merino wool liner that you can purchase um, that go that fits inside this glove you know if you're further north than I am you know if you're like in the Boston New York kind of latitude um, you would probably want to wear the the merino wool liners and then if you get really cold there's another liner that goes on top of the merino wool liner plus this that goes over the top of it it's kind of like a big ski glove and that whole thing pops off the top to expose these fingers and then you could expose this finger and then the, the liner would be underneath that with a smartphone capable grip to it Lots of different options. These are good gloves. I don't need all those different options. I just need these down to like the, you know, the 20s and 30s is about as cold as I really want to be outside when I'm filming with the drone. But um, for all you guys in the different regions, you know, check that out. So these are really good gloves. I would highly recommend them. I'm not sure if they're the best gloves out there. There's lots of options to choose from, but these are the ones that I settled on for me. And for me, they work really well. So if you're interested, give them a try. The one downside I would say about these not really a downside for the gloves themselves, but just the but just the activity in general is that sometimes when you're taking off from a concrete structure like the one I'm on right now, it's a parking deck, there's lots of rebar, you get the magnetic interference when you're trying to launch your drone up into the air. So then you get the calibration message. What I've noticed on one occasion is that when I take the drone and I try to recalibrate and I'm holding the glove, I've got the little magnet here in the in the finger, and so I'm trying to recalibrate the drone and I still get the same magnetic interference. Could be that there's still a lot of rebar in the area. Could be that there's the magnet right here in the glove. But I took the took my hand out of the glove, recalibrated it and it was fine. Put the glove back on and, and I was good to go. So just a minor thing. Uh, like I said, it's just a you know, uh, you know, part of the technology with having magnets in the gloves to be able to pull this back, but no issues at all while flying. It's very helpful to be able to hold these back and have it just stick like that and, and go on about your business. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this information helpful. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.